It's starting. Who knows if it's starting? Setting up your meeting for Facebook Live. Okay, and I think that we're almost ready. Okay, I think that we are done. Hello, 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 hello. What's going on, interwebs? How are you guys today? I'm doing lovely. Thank you for asking. That's so sweet. Um, tonight we are going to roast one of my favorite characters of all time, um, Mikkel Michaels or Myers, whatever his name is. Mikkel? Mikkel? Is it Mikkel? Um, he is a serial killer. He's ruthless. Um, I'm going to give you a little backstory on this motherfucker. Basically what <laughs> happened was Michael Myers, when he was little, he was dressed up as a clown. He was walking around his house. He was like trying to stab people and shit. Okay. He stabbed his sister. She died. Then he went to a mental institution. Guess what? Years later, he broke out to find his sister. <laughs> Okay? And he was going to fucking kill her. He couldn't find her right away. So he started killing all her other babysitter club friends. Okay. <laughs> sequel, sequel, sequels. Uh, Jamie comes into it. She's dressed up as a clown. She's trying to kill people too. It's a weird place. It's a weird place to be. Uh, Michael Myers ends up uh, having a really loving relationship with Jamie Lee Curtis. Um her career is this, <laughs> I'm pretty sure, um, except Freaky Friday, really good movie. Um, tonight, we are going to introduce you to all of our great costumed comedians tonight. Um, here they are, oh my God. <laughs> Everybody wave, like, say hello, how are you guys? Hi. Woo! I'm a person. Now, guys, what's really gonna hip hop happen is we are going to, uh, we're gonna go back to me, because like, that's important, um, I think. Uh, and we are going to start and make fun of some fucked up people. We are in the Halloween spirit, okay? Because it's that time of year and it's super groggy outside. It's like rainy and shit. Um, first person we have coming up tonight is uh, my favorite lesbian, uh, Miles <laughs> Francis. Ooh. Oh man. Uh, guys, we're here to roast Michael Myers tonight, but I'm going to start by roasting the most unintentionally funny person on the panel, and that is Tom Raised a Bitch. Uh, Tom is such a train wreck of a human being, y'all. Like, I have never <laughs> seen him be funny while attempting to perform comedy, but I have never laughed harder watching him try to follow step-by-step -step children's instructions on how to do a Zoom call. Uh, honestly, guys, I'm like shocked he even made it here tonight. Uh, we had two live streams on Sunday of just him doing whatever it is that he does. Uh, but Tom is so bad at comedy, man. He's the only comic that Nick has ever had to light off of this stage. After two minutes, we just couldn't take it anymore. Seriously, dude, I thought listening to Anna Barton's reading from her diary would be the most like awful thing I would ever experience in comedy until I saw your set. <laughs> Uh, last time Tom was here, he didn't really seem to know what a roast was, <laughs> and he didn't really seem to know where he was, uh, but that was nothing compared to our 10-minute tech check on Sunday that turned into that hour live stream of just Tom cursing at his computer like a senile old man. <laughs> uh, and Tom always has this way of looking homeless and dirty, like even when he's clearly in his own living room. Watching him on Zoom is like watching an episode of Lifestyles of the Cringy and Contagious. <laughs> oh. Tom loves the Halloween season though because it's the one month out of the year where, pe where people assume the clothes he's wearing is just a bum costume instead of a bum lifestyle <laughs> but uh, speaking of Halloween costumes we have David Parsons here tonight and David got in the holiday spirit early yesterday he dressed up as legendary English comedian Ronnie Barker uh, which is cool and it was nice for David to get a chance to be a talented comedian for once <laughs> uh, if you don't know, uh, David is across uh, is from across the pond. He was born in England. But uh, David, honestly, I'm curious, how does someone get that fat on English food, dude? That stuff is awful. <laughs> the food in the UK is so gross. I'm pretty sure that eating ass was started by UK people because they needed something to get the taste of kidney pie out of their mouth. <laughs> David is also a lawyer, and a lot of people like to make fun of lawyers for being scummy, vile sharks, and I don't think that's fair at all. Sharks are lean and muscular. David's more <laughs> of a scummy, vile whale. Uh, David was looking for a place to advertise his practice, but they couldn't fit all of him on a billboard or a blimp. <laughs> oh, 
Uh, he was advertising on Twinkies boxes for a little while, but that was pretty much just him advertising to himself. Uh, the worst part about David, actually, though, is when he lifts up his fupa, Kyle <laughs> Porter falls out. <laughs> Kyle, of course, you already know, is an actor. And once again, he actually auditioned for this movie, Halloween. Uh, and it was going well. He was going to get the lead role, but there was some trouble on the set. See, Kyle had no problem filming the scenes where he was in the closet, but he refused <laughs> to come out of the closet. <laughs> Whenever you're ready, buddy. Uh, Kyle describes himself on Facebook as not as smart as he looks, which I think is fair, but not taking it far enough. Uh, I don't think Kyle is as smart as Tom looks. Wow. <laughs> I, uh, I guess times are tough for Kyle right now, though. Uh, he must be getting really bored because his last 15 posts on Facebook were for this show, <laughs> except, except for one mask selfie. Uh, which uh, Kyle likes to pose like he thinks he's a leading man, but I think covering your face as much as possible is really going to help your career <laughs> as an extra. <laughs> Seriously, your natural ability to disappear in the background and not be spectacular in any way is finally going to pay off. <laughs> uh, but to be fair to Kyle, he does have a number of writing and acting credits to his name. Uh, most of his writing comes from him giving himself five-star reviews and then acting like he doesn't know who wrote such flattering things about him. <laughs> but uh, luckily for Kyle, he's not the ugliest person on the panel tonight because Wes Corwin actually showed up. <laughs> Wes is like a mashup of Michael Myers from Halloween and Michael Myers from the Austin Powers films. He's a gloomy and gaunt figure with bad teeth and he hasn't been funny in years. Oh, uh, Wes even has some catchphrases like Austin Powers does, only when Wes says groovy baby, uh, he's referring to the grooves in the bed that he doesn't get out of. <laughs> uh, when Wes wants to get Randy, uh, he's actually talking about his live-in nurse because he needs his bedpan changed or something. <laughs> Uh, and instead of saying, oh, behave, uh, Wes just has one toe in the grave. <laughs> uh, which the grave is where I assume Hannah Howard feels like being when she reflects on what her life has become. <laughs> uh, Hannah actually dodged a bullet this week, and I don't mean the one that she slowly aimed at herself before putting the gun back in her desk drawer and deciding she can make it just one more day. Oh, jeez. Uh, no, I mean that we were actually supposed to have Hannah Vaughn on the panel, and I know that must have had Hannah Howard feeling a little insecure, because I mean, last week we had Christina on the panel. That's another woman that looks just like Hannah, only she's funny. And this week, we originally booked another comic who has the same name as her, only Hannah Vaughn's mom died first. So that's just not <laughs> fair. How are you supposed to ever get noticed? <laughs> when it comes to slashers, Michael Myers is the man that came first, which Hannah Howard knows about a man who comes first all too well. Seriously, Clint, <laughs> why have you given Hannah more kids than you've given her orgasms? <laughs> but don't feel bad for hannah it's her husband clint that deserves the sympathy because hannah is like the third halloween movie that doesn't even have michael myers in it listening to her talk is like listening to that silver shamrock commercial only somehow more annoying but instead of season of the witch hannah's just a bitch in every season <laughs> Which uh, Hannah Vaughn's replacement tonight is actually Brian Harrington. And Brian claims that Halloween is one of his favorite movies. But I think it's just because he looks like the Benjamin Button version of uh, Dr. Loomis. Oh uh, <laughs> yeah. Actually, Brian looks like the insecure version of every bald male actor. Instead <laughs> of Bruce Willis, he looks like Douche Willis. Uh, yeah. He's not Jason <laughs> Statham. He's Jason Gatham. Yeah. <laughs> He basically looks like Woody Harrelson, but instead of all the pot, he replaced it with creatine powder. <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> uh, Brian was actually a fat kid who's now a gym rat, which basically means instead of eating his insecurities, now he just curls them. <laughs> uh, but Brian, my dude, like, I know that you're trying to like get ahead of all those insecurities and trauma, but maybe just try being funny. <laughs> Speaking of unfunny dudes with loads of baggage, <laughs> Nick Hawk. 
Nick, you look like Brian if instead of a gym membership, you got a cocaine addiction. <laughs> You're like a valley girl with a pumpkin spice latte, you basic bitch. Nick wanted to roast Michael Myers because he needed to find someone less interesting than he is. Oh my God. <laughs> but Nick, you're way more like Freddy Krueger than you are Michael Myers. You and Freddy both have the same complexion and you never shut the fuck up. Oh my God. Uh, but nonetheless, you chose Michael Myers tonight. And just like you have no business being booked for comedy, Michael Myers should not be the horror icon that he is. I mean, there have been 12 Halloween films. Only 11 of them actually have Michael Myers in it. And only two of them were actually good. When you think of uh, horror icons, Freddy's got the personality, Jason's got creativity, even the leprechaun has a sense of humor, but Michael has nothing but a cheap Star Trek mask and a knife. He's basically an incel having a nerd rage. Or what would happen if we gave Wes Corwin a cheap Star Trek mask and a knife? <laughs> But uh, props where it's due, Nick. I think it's cool that you formatted the lineup for this uh, roast after the Halloween movies, like after the first one, me. We have Hannah Howard, who just like Halloween 2, lacks substance and style compared to the original. Also like Hannah, the mask they used in part two has a terrible dye job. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tom Raised a Bitch is just like Halloween 3. He's weird, repetitive, and obnoxious, and most people just ignore that one. Kyle Porter, Thanks. David Parsons, and Wes Corwin perfectly parallel the fourth, fifth, and sixth Halloween films and that you vaguely remember them after. Mm. Brian Harrington is the H2O of the panel. He might bring something Thank you. new to the formula, but the only part people will be excited about is the end. Mm. <laughs> and Anna Barton is, is, of course, our Halloween resurrection. In both cases, the worst of the series. Mm. Oh, my God. Uh, and Nick Hawk is, of course, every Halloween remake. He's a lot of hype, but ultimately, we'll just leave you wishing for the first one. Oh, my God. Uh, Anna, don't worry. I didn't forget about you. I actually just really feel bad after last week's uh, show. Anna almost cried, y'all. Like, so I felt like I should be nicer to you this week, and I actually put together a little, like, this is your life segment, Anna. So, uh, <laughs> Anna, I know I might look like a lesbian, but cherish this moment because it's probably the most a man will ever care about your feelings. Oh my God. Uh, but please do not try to slide into my DMs afterwards because, no, I do not want to scissor with you. <laughs> Uh, but hey, you know, it's Anna's life isn't all bad. Like, for instance, on Sunday, uh, here's Anna enjoying some soup. And uh, that turned out pretty well. So, you know, that's good. Uh, and here's a picture of Anna the day that the Lizzie McGuire soundtrack came out. And finally, and I know this one's going to be really special for you, Anna. Uh, here is a picture of Anna with her father. <laughs> no. I'm so sorry. Uh, I, I know I have this somewhere. Nick, I better throw it back to you while I try to find this picture. I'm so sorry. <laughs> wow. 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 I don't think I've ever been as satisfied from a lesbian before. <laughs> that was actually really heartwarming. Um, next up, we have uh, this single back skank. Um, her name is Hannah Howard. Uh, she might look a little different tonight, uh, but that's because she had better plans. <laughs> hey. <laughs> this is commitment. <laughs> yeah, do it, girl. Hey, it's me, Hannah Howard. <laughs> um, hey, Nick. I just wanted to say you're looking great tonight. Um, even though we know that you wash your body from head to toe and Dawn dish soap. <laughs> um, let me just say, this is gonna be kind of a short set because I have kids and I didn't wanna write anything and I have to clean my whole house. Um, and I also have to entertain my husband, so. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Me half of a set. Um, Kyle, Kyle lies about his height on his resume port or WhatsApp. Um, <clears throat> I presume your cocaine anonymous meeting went well tonight. 
Nick told me it did, so. <laughs> um, David, you know, I don't know David that well, but I do know he's British and he looks like he could kick anyone's ass on this panel for offering him ice sweet tea. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> this is the best Hannah Howard set I've ever seen. <laughs> I only wish Anna Barden was here to see it. <laughs> um, Brian, Brian looks like he was a roadie for Daughtry on the American Idol tour. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's that, is that, it's orange. It's rosé. <laughs> Tom, Tom, I just wanted to say that we love you, despite the fact that you're an 84-year-old man trapped in a 30-year-old's body. <laughs> and also, it looks like you're wearing a straight jacket tonight. Um, I'm a stormtrooper. <laughs> oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you and finally... Wes, Wes yeah. hasn't written shit about me, Hannah Howard. Um, <laughs> so, I didn't write any roasts for him this week either. Um, but I did write one roast about Michael Myers because that's all I have time to do. I'm a kindergarten teacher now. Um, <laughs> so here it is. The original Michael Myers mask was actually a Captain Kirk mask with its eyes stretched wider, um, which is exactly how I would describe every dude on this panel. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Nick. Roast Anna, roast Anna. <laughs> Anna Howard. <laughs> oh, man, you're funnier. You're funnier tonight. That's crazy. <laughs> That's weird. You should do this every week. Try it, try it more. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, this is a fun little fact for you guys. I just want to let everybody who's on the interwebs watching this, uh, by the way, share it. Share this motherfucking video. Because if you don't, you don't care about me and I'm going to die. No big deal. Um, but all of our past roast videos are on YouTube now. So go check them out. I uploaded them last night. Like, it's a real big deal. I love it. Thanks for acknowledging it. No cheers from anyone. Fuck you. Woo! Yay. <laughs> Next up, we have a dying man. Uh, you guys know him. He just got his background to work, and now he's cleaning because that's the only way that it will work. Here we go. Now I'm leaning. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> this is actually the on only way. And I figured out that you actually don't need a green screen. Do I have a green screen? <laughs> you, can act you can just pick any fucking color, and it'll work. Um, but anyway, uh, I, I just want to say first and foremost that everyone, uh, I went and I early voted. And I think that's important. Everyone should go out and vote. It's, it's important. Um, but the thing that I don't like about early voting or voting in general is <laughs> where you already vote. <laughs> You're already fucking laughing at me. Um, the thing that I don't like about voting is those stickers they give you. They're like, I voted today. And it's just like, oh, that's kind of excessive and redundant. And nobody <laughs> cares. Like, <laughs> I hate you guys so much. Um, but I just want to remake all those stickers and just like do the same design and like have like the American flag in the background. What, is, what the fuck is Nick doing? Uh, just have the same like, you know, design American flag, you know, blue font. And, but instead just say, I masturbated today. And so then what? people like see you on the street and like shake your hand and be like, good job, man. Wait, wait, what? Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. I didn't want to know that. And it's like, yeah. They're like, are you a right hand or a left hand? I'm like, uh, I'm not going to tell you. And they're just like, oh. 
Um, but uh, yeah, last time I did one of these, um, I didn't know that we were supposed to roast the other comedians. I thought we were just roasting one person. <laughs> it kind of seems like you didn't know we're roasting tonight either. <laughs> yeah, and Nick made fun of me uh, for minutes and minutes um, last night. Mm -hmm. uh, but anyway, uh, so now I, I did a little prep and uh, I'm going to make fun of you guys. Yep. Or try as I'm sitting in this this situation with Josh Hart in the background. Um, Nick, I didn't even know Josh Hart was in the fucking Halloween movies. This is news to me. But uh, I'll start out with Nick um, because I've known him for the longest. So I have, uh, you know, the most material on him. Um, don't nod your head like that, you little fucking bitch. Uh, <laughs> no, Nick and I go back a ways. Uh, we actually met in junior high. Um, we were both in choir together. And uh, then we actually kind of became friends in, in high school when we were in theater together. And I know what you're thinking, choir, theater, gay. No, not gay. Um, Nick, on the other hand, uh, very gay. He's a, he's a gay person. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Uh, you know, that, that's, that's perfectly fine. He's engaged. It's, it's, he's engaged. <laughs> Got him. He's on the gauge. <laughs> Fun. Uh, <laughs> but no, uh, I, we had a conversation like a few uh, months ago. And um, I was just like, hey, man, out of curiosity, uh, when did you figure out like you were you were gay? And he's like, uh, I was about like 16 or so. And um, I realized I just wasn't interested in girls. And um, yeah, I just kind of figured it out. And I was like, oh, that's cool. 16, though? Really? Because, like, from day one, I kind of figured it out. It was like when you, like, walked up and you're like, hi, I'm Nick. And I was like, oh, yeah, okay. Um, it's kind of like asking Wesley Snipes. It's like, hey, man, when did you figure out you were black? And he was like, well, I was about 16 or so. And it was, Wes really, Wesley? I could have used any black actor for that joke, but. We just lost my viewers. <laughs> <laughs> I just lost your viewers. All right. Speed Let's it up, buddy. <laughs> Somebody said that? <laughs> I think all that, of that was just you. That was just you. <laughs> Fuck. All right. Kyle Porter's here. And uh, Kyle Porter, very funny guy. Um, you've probably seen him on the other roasts and uh, the other stuff. Um, oh, Anna. Hi. Um, <laughs> but you you've probably seen him around he's a very funny dude and uh i'm just glad to see him here because i was wondering what egon was doing after ghostbusters 2 um he's no i'm just kidding that was harold ramus and he's dead now oh my god um, now he's a ghost <laughs> too soon that's that's too soon oh and then of course um, you know, Miles is here, and I was, that's also cool because I was wondering what Slimer was doing after Ghostbusters. Hey, you are um, <laughs> Let's talk about Michael. Let's skip to Michael. Just go to Michael. Go to Michael. All yeah, right. just go to Michael. You're cutting my time. All right. Yep. Uh, <laughs> So uh, I rewatched um, Halloween uh, because I had to for this set. And uh, I was like, you know, as of the slasher flicks, Halloween was actually OK. Like, it was a pretty good movie. Um, and then I rewatched it. And I was like, oh, I was 10 years stupider. 
when I uh, when I watch that movie. So that's why I kind of like it. Um, I've never liked slasher flicks, um, just because they all seem kind of cliche and formulaic. Um, mainly because uh, like they all do the same shit. Like it's all like there's always that scene where somebody's like, hey, Stacy, want to go into the forest? You want to go mess around? And then she's like, I don't know. It's kind of creepy out there. And I don't know if I want to do it. <laughs> and he's like, come on. Nobody will know. Nobody will notice. She's like, hey, yeah, that's not part of it. It's just kind of like, I don't want to do it. And this is kind of rapey. And then <laughs> I'm hate you, Nick, so much. Uh, <laughs> and then and then you know they go out in the woods and they're like, eh, yeah, uh, uh, again like weird sex noises that nobody ever really makes. And then <laughs> not for you. Eventually. <laughs> what? Oh, that's rude. Yeah, just a treat. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Are you seriously cutting me off? That was so good, Tom. Honestly, god damn. I just thought like maybe you would read a little more and you would uh, try that. <laughs> you don't read at all. God, um, wow. Okay, that we just, so good. We just muted him, so everything's fine. Oh. God, we're going to have such a good night tonight. I'll unmute him in a minute when he's calmed down. Uh, he hasn't taken his pills. Uh, next up, we have the amazing. We've got to get some more viewers now because Jesus Christ, he just <laughs> yep, didn't he? Uh, next up, we have uh, another man who is uh, similar to Tom, uh, but he's actually funny. <laughs> so here we go. It's Kyle Porter. Oh, yeah. oh welcome. Thank you. Y'all motherfuckers got me so hot after the last roast that I have to stand up for this one. All <laughs> right. God damn, I hope you brought your lube and the morning after pill because I'm coming hard tonight, y'all. Nick, thanks for the intro. Nick is in love and engaged to a man also named Nick. Nick, you're so gay the Supreme Court is about to not let you get married anymore. <laughs> oh, look at you, Amy Coney Barrett. Supreme Court, more like supremely homophobic court. <laughs> Y'all got your hoses ready? Cause I'm spitting fire tonight. <laughs> Sorry, newcomers, y'all ain't safe neither. David Parson, <laughs> you have been an adjunct professor, a former senior warden and a chancellor. Boy, have you had a job that doesn't sound like you're the guest professor at Hogwarts? Oh, you magical <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Is this a roast or the end of a blunt? Cause you just got burnt. Miles knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> you smoke trees, honky, you feel me? You feel me, B? David, uh, I got to hear your accent earlier and your accent is smoother than my last bowel movement. I need less fiber in my diet. Uh-oh. Ooh, these burns are hotter than my Hershey squirts. Literally, yeah. <laughs> Brian Harrington, you look like Jason fucking Statham if he was American and approachable. Oh, Thank shit, you. got him. <laughs> I wish I could pull off short hair, B, Ryan. Okay. Ryan, you seem like a man uh, who has very few needs. You seem happy and you have a simple life because you was a simple bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Brian apparently knows the secret to comedy and it is, oh, uh, shit, I lost my place. Hi <laughs> me. Oh, oh yeah, nice. nailed it. Fourth oh, ball. Brian just had a birthday this week. Way to be one step closer to death, but still like look like you're 24. <laughs> you're timelessly beautiful. Stuck him real good, just like that relationship he's been stuck in for two years. Way to commit to the bit. Three. Three, three years. Mass <laughs> art, motherfuckers. <laughs> Tom Reisenbickler, oh. last roast you were on, you chose to roast a picnic instead of anyone on the dais. <laughs> I whipped up. You did that shit because you was an original offbeat comedian and too sweet to hurt people. You look like, you're just like Mike Myers in that you only lash out because you secretly feel too deep. 
He was a big sweetheart that just needs someone to talk to. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, y'all didn't know it was gonna cut that deep. Deep like Ron Jeremy or a poem by Robert Frost. Hey, oh, <laughs> English students, you heard? <laughs> now, let's move on to these bitches that wronged me uh, last week. Y'all sexy motherfuckers bringing my in a Florida man out, all right? This is gonna get nastier than a bath salts crime scene in my home state of Florida. <laughs> Hannah Howard, I don't know if you're actually here or not because Anna Barton looked real good in that wig. Hannah Howard has children. Hannah also had to polite me, uh, politely tell me not to swear around her children. Way to handle an escalating situation like a responsible adult, Hannah. <laughs> Protective lioness. Uh, <laughs> Hannah has kids and still has the energy to perform at night. I have no children and I don't know how I'm standing up right now. I suffer <laughs> from seasonal affective disorder, mofos. Slam goddamn dunkity on that hockey goal touchdown. Sports reference. All right, skipping down. Uh, Hannah, one last one for you. You look like you constantly misjudge how much Tupperware containers can hold. Uh-oh, <laughs> first you go too big and have a ton of extra space. Then you'd overcompensate with a bowl that's too small and make a mess on the counter, cause you's a messy bitch. <laughs> Speaking of messy bitches, ha <laughs> ha, smooth transition. Miles Francis is back, back again, Miles back. Tell a friend. Well, I did tell my friends, Miles, and guess what? They were more excited about your set than mine. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> Miles breaking down barriers while here while wearing these hand-me-down Magnum PI shirts. That's a joke for David, since he's the only old enough person on here to get it. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if you're actually, I wrote that before I found out you were English, so I don't know if you guys got Magnum P.I. over there. <laughs> but that show is awesome. <laughs> Good. Good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Miles, tonight, bro, you look straight silly with your blonde hair and your glasses and your stupid Marty McFly outfit. <laughs> Are you annoying? Are you charming? I don't know. Oh, wait. Uh, yep, I'm looking at my own Zoom again. <laughs> <laughs> bitches, just ask Tom. Oh yeah, I'm gonna move uh, on. Miles you. kills himself because I roasted him so hard. <laughs> uh, Anna Barden, your sets make me wish I was more like Michael Myers, cause I would murder that ass girl. Oh. <laughs> your Facebook says your COVID mask matches your dresses, but it doesn't answer if them curtain matches them drapes. Miles, <laughs> feel me right, dog? Miles knows. What's up, B? Uh, seriously though, Anna, what do you say, girl? You want to be my third restraining order this year? The judge <laughs> says I'm only one more away from a turkey. And Lord knows I could use a turkey because I got no plans for Thanksgiving since my family won't talk to me. <laughs> yeah. Anna, your, mat your masks match your dresses more than I match my socks. Oh, shit. Sucks to have <laughs> ocular issues in the middle of a pandemic. <laughs> what? You see Anna real good. Guess what, Wes? Yeah. I'm coming for you, B. Okay. Wes Corwin, just like any female in the Halloween movies, you ain't safe in bed neither. <laughs> Wes, you and Michael Myers have a lot in common. You both have excellent timing and are incredible writers. Ah, uh, shit. I mixed up Michael Myers and Mike Myers. <laughs> and then I let that shit in because I'm lazy and dick sexless. <laughs> dick lexics. <laughs> Guys, seriously, you know, I know I'm going really, really hard this roast, so uh, it's still a roast. I'm gonna need y'all to unpucker them buttholes. <laughs> because next up is Nick Ryan fucking Hawk, son. <laughs> your comedy is just like your haircuts, high and tight. <laughs> just like Tom Rice and Bickler's ass. Boy, how tall are you? <laughs> he make it work though. Miles, you feel me on that one, right B? You feel me, B. <laughs> Nick, you look like you under-season a chicken, but over-season a pumpkin spice latte. You basic. <laughs> Thanks, Miles. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead and change my name to Michael Myers, because I just cut to the core of you, Nick. <laughs> All right, now on to our main course. Michael M. F. and Myers, everyone. <laughs> the next lamb for this slaughter, Michael Myers has single-handedly <clears throat> increased the amount of corners we need to pay. Way to help the unemployment rate. 
Michael Myers is proof that cop shooting the bad guys doesn't do anything. Michael Myers needed a healthcare professional who didn't call him it. Maybe if he had some actual therapy, he would have started to watch this new fad of brother-sister porn instead of murdering his own family all the time. Miles, yeah. you feel me, right? You've seen this. <laughs> you feel me, B. Miles. Love you, girl. <laughs> no, I'd be pissed off, too, if people kept shooting me instead of talking to me. More proof that we need to defund the police and put that money back into community services. Fuck the police. Vote Biden, you hurt. Mm. <laughs> Rob Zombie, ain't nobody safe tonight. Rob, your first remake was understated, thoughtful towards the originals, and beautifully done. Way to not get the credit you deserve. Flam, flam, flam. <laughs> Woo, I hope you guys brought aloe because everybody just got burnt. <laughs> All right, now I'd like to, uh, I'm just going to leave a little quick Halloween treat for everyone since it's the holidays and it's my favorite. Trick or treat. The trick is what I do to make an actual living when we're off the air. The treat that Tom can somehow make me laugh, even if he can't make anybody else. <laughs> smell my feet. The smell? Me. Because my body, it still sweats like it thinks it's fat. It didn't get that memo. The feet. Okay. Our host, Nick Hawk. Because you's a hardworking bitch that could use a foot rub. <laughs> Give me something good to eat. All them fine ass ladies on this day, us. <laughs> oh, Miles, you feel me, right, B? You a lesbian, you feel me. <laughs> all right, well, thank you guys so much. I, uh, I hope you all have a very quick recovery from these third degree burns I've been handing out faster than stimulus checks. So thank you again for letting me dominate you harder than Nick's fiance is gonna when he sees his slutty Harley Quinn Halloween costume this weekend. Love you. <laughs> Oh, Kyle, what a treat. Um, were you a Visco boy? Um, <laughs> that's what I was getting. I was just getting Visco boy, and I still want to fuck you. It's unreal. Um, David Parsons, this guy, we, he comes from across the pond. Um, he didn't do any makeup tonight. That is just a filter, so don't let him fool you. He is not Jeffree Star, but uh, we'll get there. Uh, here is David Parsons. Well, thank you, Nick. Okay, so Hannah Howard, you've got kids. I had no idea. Um, yeah, not mentioned that a few hundred times, right? <laughs> I, I gotta confess something about Hannah. I, I befriended her on Facebook because I clicked on the wrong Dallas comic named Hannah. Uh, you know, the <laughs> funny one. Um, but when I met her for the first time in person, I thought she'd hit the Halloween candy a little too hard and had lost an argument with a tin of fluorescent pink paint. Um, she escaped from the clutches of an evangelical upbringing so she shouldn't have any trouble evading the horror movie slasher and uh, having kids should prepare her quite well for the aftermath of a flat slasher attack slasher attack yeah. <laughs> yes okay Anna Bond. I don't know her very well but she seems like the annoyingly chipper girl who's always killed off quite early in the flashes, slasher spree it's just the fucking flashes. Uh, I looked at her Facebook and she dressed up as Colonel Sanders as Hall for Halloween once, which was scarily effective. It didn't make me want to eat fried chicken at all. Uh, oh. <laughs> and I think she would have a pretty good job evading a slasher by uh, uh, thrilling him to death with reading from her diaries. Um, that might work. Uh, Miles, I'm interested that you started off on me being fat. Um, <laughs> Because you like those edibles so much. Uh, no shit, Sherlock. Um, nothing good ever happens to the stoner in the slasher movies either. So you'd probably be one of the first to go. Um, and you're also in danger of being confused with a pretty girl from behind. So uh, I'd be very, very careful how you do. Uh, I'm, I'm glad you were able to make it because I understood you were busy this week because uh, you were scaring people... Um, watching movies in, in their cars, right? Is that what you're up to? Yep, yeah, yeah, what, what, what are you yeah. doing? Performing comedy for them? <laughs> um, and, you know, it's a close thing, but I think more people have died in the Halloween movies um, than on stage at a hat trick's open mic coast of <laughs> uh, What do we got about Nick Hawk? Okay. 
Um, the first time I met Nick, I actually felt a little bit sorry for him um, because with the beanie and the pale complexion and the skinniness, I thought he was on chemotherapy. Um, let me see. Uh, having heard him sing, I'm sure his piercing shriek would go down a treat in a slasher movie. Um, uh, but he could use his silver tongue to get away from uh, from any serial killer. Um, he persuaded me to do this thing that I uh, never heard anything about. I'm not a real big fan of uh, of horror movies. Uh, as other people have noted, um, I thought this was about Mike Myers uh, when I first uh, uh, got the topic, um, which uh, I'm like, that'll be easier to do some jokes about Wes because he's always reminded me very much of him. But he looks a little bit more like a caveman tonight. Is that the costume? It's pretty mm -hmm. awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. I can't say too much about Wes. I think he's amazing. Um, but uh, I tried to do as much research uh, as I could by watching uh, some Halloween uh, movies. But I couldn't <laughs> handle it. Uh, and I've sat through one of his headlining sets. So um, I'm pretty tough in that regard. Mm -hmm. uh, Kyle, I've not had the pleasure, but I took a look at your web page. Uh, you've got an impressive resume as an actor. I'd have checked out more of your stuff, but I didn't want to pay for a Pornhub premium account. <laughs> um, and an interesting item popped out of that resume. You've got Spider-Man-like activities in Parker and gymnastics. Well, that'd be very useful for evading a knife-wielding slasher. And I think there's a big future for, for you in a uh, another Halloween sequel when they get around to it. Uh, Brian, don't know you at all, but the only thing that popped into mind is an interesting piece of trivia about um, Michael Myers is the mask uh, wow. was based on uh, William, William Shatner's um, yeah. Captain Kirk. Uh, yeah. And if uh, it had been Jean-Luc Picard, you'd have been a shoo-in for that. Uh, 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 yeah, Tom. I think everybody's been <laughs> enough. I gotta say that I love the um, uh, the Stormtrooper hoodie. It's a real good look for you. Um, and I don't know whether you're more stoned than Miles Francis or whether you've got some kind of brain damage going on. <laughs> uh, and you know, ten years stupider uh, when you saw the movie. What the sperm and egg not met yet? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Now on to the main course, uh, Michael Myers himself. I confess I've only ever seen the 2018 movie and I fell asleep during it. It's something about a serial killer who wears a mask. But at least he's following CDC guidelines, so that's something. Um, his social distancing needs a little bit of work, though. It's not a horror movie series that Republicans will want to watch because one of their biggest fears is crazy people wearing masks. Um, uh, it's a deeply confusing backstory. I would try and explain it a little bit more, but it'd be too much like a Miles Francis narrative joke. Um, <laughs> uh, but, but one thing about him is he has died horribly more times than Miles on a Zoom mic. So uh, that's something, <laughs> quite an achievement. Uh, it's typically American kind of series of films. Decently original story, flog mercilessly, through seven increasingly awful sequels, a reboot, a sequel to the reboot, a sequel that ignores the seven previous sequels, two more planned sequels to that sequel. Uh, we'll join Mike Myers again for the 2028 Halloween movie, uh, Halloween The Blatant Cash Grab, um, starring, I believe, Kyle Porter, uh, probably at that point. Uh, all right. What I want to do just to close out is uh, roast the concept of Halloween for a moment. Um, Oh. It's an archetypal American holiday. Entitled kids going to strangers' houses demanding candy, which sounds an awful lot like American foreign policy to me. Um, uh, why are so American many American holidays about junk food and overindulgence, by the way? You think there's maybe a connection with childhood obesity and Halloween plus Thanksgiving plus all the other shit you eat? Uh, which I realize is deeply ironic given the fact that I'm probably the heaviest person here by a good 100 pounds. Um, it's also deeply ironic to me how many evangelicals get excited about their little kids dressing up as witches and ghouls and goblins that's pretty awesome uh, I didn't do Halloween as a kid although we were quite big into costume parties in, ho in college um, don't worry I was quite more svelte at this point but I once went to one dressed only in a pair of boxer shorts when people asked what I was, I said that it was a premature ejaculation because I'd come in my underpants. <laughs> uh, 
And in closing, I'm sad to say that Halloween is now a fixture of British life. Uh, after the UK exported me, they imported high school proms, Black Friday sales, Halloween, and morons as heads of state. Uh, so I don't think that was a fair trade, personally. Anyway, thank you for inviting me, Nick. This has been fun. David, oh my gosh, good job, David. Good job. Hey. Every time I hear your voice, David, I feel like I'm watching the Great Brit British Baking Show. <laughs> <It's pretty good. laughs> Well, every you time you see my uh, see my body as well, probably. <laughs> Touche. <laughs> <laughs> um, next up, we have uh, someone that uh, I forget about all the time. Um, I think we're going to go. We're gonna, we're just going to go to Brian next. No, I'm just kidding. We're going to go to Wes Corwin. Hey, hey, hey. Oh Thank no. You. I appreciate it. Thank you. I appreciate. David, I appreciate the guess that I'm dressed up as a caveman. I didn't get the hair dye right. I was trying to be Hannah Howard, and it just didn't click. I got the sh I got the five o'clock shadow. I nailed that. I feel good about that. <laughs> I feel good. I mean, this was this was a tough week for me. It was difficult. I wasn't sure how you roast Michael Myers, an empty, soulless husk of a human being. How do you relate to somebody so empty, so alone? And then I realized, oh, you probably just roast him like you roast Kyle Porter. So. <laughs> So I looked up Michael Myers backstage.com profile. And uh, I don't know if you know, uh, Michael Myers uh, hunted his family for uh, 20, 30 years. So he gave himself three stars in commitment, which is three more than we can give Kyle Porter. You empty ring fingered fuck. You are still divorced. And I'm glad, <laughs> hope you are. I, thanks for Nick for organizing this, putting this together. Uh, if Nick were in a Halloween movie, he would be the character that gets killed by Michael Myers. And the crowd is like, yeah, but that character was problematic, so they wouldn't be upset. They wouldn't be. <laughs> uh, I'm glad. I, I do. I'm glad. Here's the thing. I, it's tough. I'm. I'm. I'm killing a lot of time roasting other people because it's tough to roast a big, shapeless white husk. There's nothing really funny about a big, shapeless white husk, which is why David Parsons isn't funny. Just real, <laughs> real tough. It's real. I, I, I do. I do want to share. Uh, I feel like David would do better. Like uh, when we, I'm sure you'll notice when you watch David, uh, like his mouth doesn't quite match what he's saying, and like his face is white, and you you don't see the uh, the soles of his eyes. Uh, that was what I noticed the first time I saw his set a year ago. So, <laughs> uh, Tom, I did not bother to learn how to pronounce your last name for this roast. Uh, we were on stream wa together watching Tom struggle to open his email or remember his password or uh, open the computer all the way. Uh, <laughs> I feel like Tom would die toppling a vending machine onto himself. Um, <laughs> not in a Halloween movie. I just think at some point in his life, he will topple a vending machine onto himself. I think that's a thing. Maybe. Uh, I, I, I want to share Miles looks like the guy that dies first in a horror movie. Uh, for, for I, I, I can't impress on this enough. Like Miles' experience in the horror movie isn't like, oh, there's a murderer loose. It's like, I like getting high and checking on sounds. And then <laughs> uh, I know it's Brian's birthday this week. So as a gift, I'm going to pretend I know who you are and then move on. That's the best. I have no idea. I see you wearing DCH shirts. So I'm sure we've run into each other. And this is deeply rude. I have no idea who you are. I've never, I have no clue. Uh, Anna Barden, uh, I feel like if she were in a Halloween movie, it would be like the sixth sense ending, like Michael Myers tries to kill her, but it, she was dead the whole time. Like you can't, easy. She's just completely hollow, no no soul <laughs> at all. Uh, and then Hannah, I actually wrote for Hannah Howard and she's not fucking here and I'm curious about it. I don't actually care because I don't think- She's watching. Oh, good. Hannah, I feel like Hannah Howard would be, if, if any of us were to live, uh, Hannah Howard would be the final girl. I feel like she would survive to the end of the movie, not because she has any traits or abilities. I just feel like Michael Myers would forget to kill her. I feel like he would just blow by her and be like, ah, shit, that's the one I missed, <laughs> fuck. I don't know. I, is, is, it, it, I get that it's Halloween. I get that we're, we, we're supposed to roast Michael Myers, this guy, this, this, this guy right here, this, I can't, you can't see my hand, right, right here, this guy, did, uh, do we, what, what, he's just, what's the point, look at him, 
he's just he's he's got nothing he's got no soul in his eyes all he does is have a knife his hair's awful <laughs> before i would have been like oh man what there's there's nothing there. he's just harmless <laughs> he's not doing anything to anybody what i'm saying is i uh, after 2016 i'm pretty mm -hmm. sure people would have voted him to be president you know what i mean i'm <laughs> sure <laughs> i'm glad 2020 is going to pass and we can move on from people like him I just feel like he's an Arkansas voter. That's what I'm trying to get at. I feel like that's what I'm looking at when I see him. <laughs> anyway, that's what I wanted to share with you. Uh, I'm going to take off this wig now. Gosh, I'm telling you, Peg Bundy, that was really good. <laughs> I haven't seen you since Married with Children, but I'm happy you're getting more work. This is really a fabulous actress. Thanks. Um, Next up, we have a newcomer. Uh, this Let's go easy on him. Let's not. Let's tear him open. He's used to it. Um, we have Brian Harrington. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. So the thing is, um, yeah, I'm a seven. And, and, and I was told, oh, you should do costumes. Well, I didn't have time to really do costumes. So this is my dog's costume. It's a Chucky costume. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, I honestly can't wear this if I'm going to talk for another four seconds. So I'm going to take cool. that off. How do you? Uh, I'll leave this on. It's slimming. <laughs> all right. So first of all, like I said, I'm a last minute sub in. So I don't know if you guys have already made all of these jokes about each other before. So if I end up repeating any of them and stealing jokes, then I'll really fit in with the rest of you. <laughs> uh, so, but honestly, as a sub in, Nick, thank you so much for having me, for inviting me to what feels like um, might be your attempt at making a scissor reel during quarantine. <laughs> but I'd like to tell you that I, I do not give you permission to use it for your drag race audition. <laughs> But also, thanks you, thank you for this dope ass background. Like, I got one of the good ones. Would you, would you guys do like a well this way, like a sitcom like this? Yes. <laughs> uh oh, he's killing us. <laughs> uh, but seriously, thank you, Nick. Um, I mean, you know, I don't really know a lot about you guys, but it seems like you went from being a failed wedding singer to like a failed comedian immediately, which seems like a lateral move to me. You, you should really like reach higher or reach lower. Um, I'm just saying stick to what you know and what you love. So like suck dick for money. <laughs> Sex work is very positive these days. Coming to terms with your sexuality is tough. Like when I realized I was gay, I was like, please, no, God, like, I want to be normal. I want to like girls. And Nick was like, thank you, God. I finally have something that makes me interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like, I'm sorry. I feel like I'm roasting you a lot, but it's because I'm like way more terrified of the rest of the comedians. <laughs> so in that case, I will move on to my last joke about you. <laughs> uh, oh, <laughs> I notice you're engaged. Congratulations. Uh, I mean, like Kyle said, after yesterday's Supreme Court confirmation, y'all might want to go ahead and do that shit like this weekend. Um, I'd, ask if you, I'd ask if you were going to take his name, but it looks like you already did. Uh, <laughs> like they're both named Nick. That's crazy for those tuning in at home. Uh, what is that like during sex? Like, Nick, 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 Nickelodeon, Nick, I just. <laughs> Woo! Um, I guess Hannah Howard's not really here tonight, but what I gathered from it was Hannah. Hey, hey, Hannah. I mean, she's watching, so hey, Hannah. Um, I grew up super Christian, just like you, and now I'm not super Christian, just like you, and now I have a dual income household and I get to spend money on things that I absolutely love. And you have kids. 
<laughs> so, so that's where we differ. <laughs> uh, David Parsons, listen, guys, I had a very short amount of time to get this shit together. So I don't think I got something about everyone. So David Parsons, David Parsons. I wanted so badly to get something about you because of like being British, um, but I didn't. And it will haunt me for the rest of my days, David Parsons. <laughs> But Miles, Miles Francis, <laughs> Miles, you look like if the dude from Big Lebowski had sex with Rebel Wilson, <laughs> but, but they didn't even have a kid. I'm just saying you look like Rebel Wilson got like <laughs> <laughs> Your hair has been mentioned a lot of times within these roasts and uh, it's beautiful, but it smells or it looks like it would smell like um, the inside of a Spencer's Gifts, <laughs> you know, at the mall. <laughs> As everyone knows, Miles loves The Simpsons so much so that when he gets turned on, he doesn't pitch a tent. He gets a treehouse of terror. <laughs> and that joke is about you having an ugly penis that smells like the inside of Spencer's gifts. <laughs> <laughs> only when you get down to the to the base. Tom, what I can only imagine is pronounced Reisenbach. Uh, that's pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> Thank you. I didn't say bitch. Um, you know how you go to stalk someone's Facebook, but you're not friends with them. And, and, and most of the shit that you can find is stuff that they started out with in college. It's still like public, they don't even know it. So everyone has like, my favorite TV show is Arrested Development. It's canceled, you probably don't even know it. And my favorite movie is V for Vendetta. Like remember the 5th of November, but Tom still keeps up with it. Like I went to his Facebook and the last movie that he added was Bill and Ted 3 face the music like i didn't see the movie it might have been great but he watched that movie and said yep that's going on my facebook which i i'm guessing is his way of trying to change the status of like single oh. to something else i kid but also buddy like get rid of the interested in women status it's not cool to be straight these days. It's not even cool anymore. And neither is the movie Ted 2. <laughs> not, not even the, he didn't even put the original on there. Just Ted 2, like the Godfather 2 of Ted's. <laughs> um, all right, so you guys might have seen that I was wearing my dog's costume earlier because I didn't have a lot of time to figure something out. Ironically, when I found out that we were supposed to have costumes, one of the only costumes I have is a mask of Michael Myers. Woo. But then I thought, yeah, I know, because I love it. What could I do? What could I do with it? Maybe I could turn it inside out. This could oh be God. creepy. Jesus and, and, and maybe I could do it, you know, oh like God. this. Oh God. But like, that's, what is that? That's nothing. And so I didn't want to steal Michael's thunder. And then I was like, what about this? <laughs> But then I didn't want to steal Kyle Porter's thunder. <laughs> so I just decided to wear my dog's costume. I didn't want to look exactly like Kyle Porter. So the thing is, Kyle Porter, I've never met you, but I'm in love with you. Ooh. Because you only com complimented me that entire time. <laughs> but since I was a last minute sub and I didn't really have a chance to like get a fun costume, so I did that. Um, Kyle, I hope that Anthony Rapp dies so that he stops taking all the roles that you are entitled to. Thank you, I agree. And also, yeah, you're welcome. And um, I know that I gave the exact opposite advice to Tom, but for you, I recommend keeping the interested in women status on your Facebook because it is so necessary. <laughs> you confuse us. <laughs> Anna Barden or Hannah whichever you are tonight. Uh, first of all, I loved your song from the 2003 major motion picture soundtrack, Daredevil. Um, and if y'all ever want to make a comeback, I'll be the first in line for those Evanescence tickets. Um, 
to figure something out about you. I stalked your Facebook looking for gold. And the first thing I found, it took me a while to find something like, ooh, this is juicy, uh, was a picture of you and 50 Cent holding <laughs> <laughs> holding effing vodka. And that just made me think, effing vodka? Like, were they sitting around blazed as fuck? And so it was like, man, I wish I had some effing vodka right now. <laughs> that would be a great idea. What if we name something F and vodka? That's not even a rose. Congratulations for getting that picture. Thank you. <laughs> but after I struck out looking at your Facebook, I was like, well, she's got to have a live journal. Um, look at her. Uh, but it must be hidden somewhere because there is no fucking way that you don't have a live journal somewhere out there <laughs> with unlicensed, uh, 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 an unlicensed watermark of uh, like Paint Shop Pro painted across it. Um, you, you know, like a paint shop pro that really like exhibited your feelings and your soul, but like it had the license, the, the watermark across it because your dad wasn't there to buy the whole software. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> I'm sorry, my dad is dead. So you're still winning. Oh my God. <laughs> so Anna, I'm kidding. You're beautiful. I don't think we've ever talked in person, but I do remember seeing you around Dallas Comedy House. And unfortunately, Dallas Comedy House is not there anymore. I love DCH so much. Um, we've lost so many businesses during this bullshit, uh, uh, terrible thing that's going on. But because of Anna, it seems we aren't going to lose one of our most treasured businesses, Hot Topic. <laughs> Anna, I have two questions. What's your favorite movie and why is it Nightmare Before Christmas? <laughs> 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 uh, Wes, Wes Corwin's here. Wes, he's really here, everyone. And uh, Wes is someone I actually do. He, he talks, what's crazy is he talks shit about like, I don't know you. Bitch, I used to run the fucking bar that you no! got mild, mildly drunk at. Um, uh, so I served you plenty of times. Uh, but uh, so you're actually one of the people I have met in person and serving you at the bar. Like, to me, it's nice to see you. I'm you so know, it's... Cool. <laughs> What's that? I'm such an asshole. I'm so no, sorry. no, no, no. It's a roast. <laughs> Be an asshole. I want to smell that. You know, <laughs> it's really nice with Wes because it's like we get to see what it would have been like if Mitch Hedberg were around long enough to get me too. <laughs> and you smell like a Spencer Gifts. <laughs> All right, but. Regardless of all of that, like, thank you guys so much for having me. What we're really here to celebrate or the opposite of that is Michael Myers. Um, so Michael Myers, like in the first movie, if you guys watched it to brush up on what we're talking about, he's, he kills a mechanic and he strips him naked. And then he wears his coveralls. Then he goes to a store and steals a mask and some rope and some knives. Like, dude, can't you get some separates from the store? You may be inhuman, but you've still got to take a shit. You ate a dog. You ate a dog. So what are you going to do with those coveralls on when you've got to take a shit? You're going to look like a drunk bridesmaid trying to get out of her dress in the middle of the wedding. I don't understand. And if someone walks in on you, that's going to be really embarrassing. But the other thing is you can't just take a dump in your pants because you're trying to be sneaky. You're trying to be incognito. So what if you do that? You're like hiding in the corner and then, and then Lori walks in and she's like, oh no. And she just walks right back out. You're gonna, whole, you're gonna like ruin your whole scary thing. So don't use coveralls. Don't use coveralls. <laughs> Separates. Or at least coveralls with a butt flap. So Halloween is actually one of my favorite uh, franchises and I know everything about it. So this might get a little bit in the weeds, but at the end of the Halloween four, okay, after he's killed so many people, dozens maybe of people, the cavalry shows up, so many cops, and they just shotgun and rifle and handguns and just pump him full of hundreds of bullets. And then he falls into a mine shaft or like a, you know, like a grave that becomes a mine shaft. And he, well, there's a Halloween five. So you know that he makes it. But I have to say, that is unrealistic. He is white. The cops would have shown up and 
immediately taken him to Burger King. <laughs> <laughs> He's had a traumatic experience. Oh, we want to make him feel comfy. Okay. <laughs> but if it were if it were Candyman, that wouldn't be happening. <laughs> All right, now in Halloween 1, uh, when Jamie Lee Curtis got famous in Halloween 2, there were some rumors going around um, that she was a hermaphrodite. Yeah. But after True Lies and that dance scene, fellas, I think it's obvious that she is just a very manly looking woman. Woman. You know, like Miles Francis, but successful. <laughs> 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 also <laughs> also to prepare for this i watched the uh the first one you guys did the nightmare on elm street roast very fun um but y'all shit on robert england saying that freddie ruined his career he, he was in eight movies and you know like he's still cashing in on those royalty checks every halloween when that shit gets popular Whereas six different actors played Michael over the course of 12 movies, one of which he wasn't even in. Michael wasn't in it. He was just a replaceable guy hiding behind a lonely white facade. You know what I'm talking about, David Parsons. <laughs> yeah, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that's back to you, Nick. Oh, Brian, <laughs> wonderful. Honestly, what a treat. I was I'm always happy to bring another gay along because we need more representation because fuck you breeders. Um, but I just want to say when you turned that mask inside out, um, it wasn't really a costume. It kind of just looked like a your face. <laughs> she just <laughs> looked just like you. Um, and Anna Barden, her everyone knows that her favorite watermark is Sam Brand. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> that is her favorite watermark. Um, so here we're gonna go next to uh Sam Brand's biggest fan, Hannah Barden. <laughs> Nick, you're not being chill. Um <laughs> listen, you guys, I really dove into that character earlier. And this is as much wine that I have left of that entire bottle. So I'm gonna get through this. I'm gonna first show you my other Halloween costume. Oh no. <laughs> oh God. It's green. It's not gonna work. Okay. <laughs> nope. I don't want to smell like latex on my face <laughs> tonight. <Bro>. Okay. <laughs> hey, you guys. I just want to address <laughs> that you all gone really hard in on my daddy issues, which is just really weird for a group of people whose dads are all sleeping with the staff of Luby's. Um, <laughs> Except for Nick's dad, who is sleeping with everyone at Dairy Queen. <laughs> and not just the staff. Okay. Speaking of Dairy Queen, Kyle Porter is here. Um, I just, I first want to say, Kyle, I get the whole, actually, I don't get the whole whatever you were doing earlier. To me, it just <laughs> seemed like Eminem if he had been given hooked on phonics as a child. Um. Kyle looks like Ron Weasley's evil American twin. Um, the only thing is, I wish that he had been eaten in the womb. <laughs> I don't have any more roasts for you, Kyle, because frankly, I got tired of looking at your face. Um, oh, David man. Parsons. It's very smoky in here. <laughs> Speaking of Ron uh, Weasley. I'm done. Who's talking? I don't know. I can't see. Oh, well. Um, speaking, speaking of Ron Weasley and other British men who will never land the lead role, David Parsons is here. Um, you know, I actually studied abroad in London in college. And when I creeped on David's Facebook, it was like studying abroad again in London. Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> um, David is like Big Ben, big, loud, and his time is ticking, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't want to be too big of a bitch because I found out David is a lawyer and I'm honestly scared. Um, it's really <laughs> intimidating. But if anyone on this panel needs a lawyer, it's Nick Hawk. Um, <laughs> she's been arrested not once but twice for public indecency at a Kroger. <laughs> um, you know, Nick actually made me cry last week. And it's not because his roasts were so mean. It's just because I had to listen to his voice for more than five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, at least Nick can save money on toothbrushes because his teeth are the size of a three-year-old. <laughs> 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 By the way, this glass holds an entire bottle of um, whatever wine you want. So. <laughs> okay, Miles Francis. You know, Miles has beautiful virgin blonde hair. And just like his hair, he's never been touched. <laughs> Thank you. Miles, looked like, <laughs> Miles looks like if someone played Uncle Joey like an accordion. Oh um, and I think that might be a repeat dig. So I just, I, I want to apologize to Dave Coulier about that. Okay. <laughs> um, Wes Corwin, I don't know what the hell was on your head earlier. Kind of looks like if Hagrid were, you know, between classes at community college. Um, I, I really don't know what your costume was. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Anywho, Wes, I cannot see your feet from the Zoom call, um, but something is telling me that you're wearing New Balances in your bed right now. Incredible. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> is it true? I, I feel like yes. That's true. <laughs> They're going to show you. Cheers. <laughs> Um, Wes Corwin is a fan of pro wrestling, <laughs> but you know, that's probably because no one will ever wear tight spandex around him. <laughs> 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 and, you know, pro wrestling was actually really popular in the eighties, just like Wes's haircut right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Tom rising bitch. I don't know how to say your last name, and I'm, I can't read right now. <laughs> um, Tom seems like the type of guy who would take... <laughs> All the time. <laughs> this is a fucking joke. This should be good. <laughs> finish your drink and then finish the joke. <laughs> Wait, is that a challenge? Because I will. Oh. <laughs> I'm already committed. Um, Tom Risen, whatever, seems like the type of guy who would take hostages at a Denny's if his eyes were cooked wrong. <laughs> Get in there. <laughs> um, I'm not going to go too hard in on Tom this week because he was already roasted live on Facebook twice without <laughs> even knowing. I didn't roast any of you guys. It was, yeah, it was just me. Um, but, you know, at, at least he's had more shows than Miles Francis. Um, <laughs> <laughs> great job, Nick. Um, all right, Brian Harrington. I actually, I don't know much about Brian Harrington because he doesn't post shit on Facebook. Um, but I do know that he looks like an out of season old Navy mannequin. <laughs> and that's all that I have. <laughs> that's all I have for Brian. Okay. 
Did I already put the Shrek mask on? Yes, you did. <laughs> you want me to do it again? <laughs> Your time. Y'all, yeah, this is like, I've had a whole bottle of $7 Walgreens rosé. <laughs> Michael hey. Myers. The only Michael Myers anyone gives a shit about is the one that played Austin Powers. <laughs> <laughs> Boom, bitch. <laughs> okay. You know, if you could just find the right shade of Maybelline Mad Moose, then maybe you wouldn't have to go around killing people. <laughs> Boom. Roasted. He's a very pale. I don't know who's talking over my set. <laughs> also, can I just point out that I'm in a panel full of men right now? This should be my dream, but I don't know if that's true or not. Well, you've got me and Nick. I like, I'm on my phone I and I can't see the grid, so I don't know who the hell's talking. <laughs> Love you. I can only tell, I only know Wes's laugh and David Parsons' English accent and Nick's horrible voice. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> listen, I read some trivia on the Halloween movies and I learned some really cool things, okay? One, it was originally titled The Babysitter Murders. It took 10 days to write the original script. Um, and the character of Michael Myers, get this, was based on Tom. <laughs> <laughs> um, also, did you guys know that seven different people portrayed Michael in the 1978 film? Did you know that? How much did we know that? <laughs> <laughs> So I just really wanted to say congratulations to Nick for bringing all those men tonight together on the panel. Um, I don't even know if that sentence makes sense, but <laughs> guys, I'm pulling a total chocolate secrets right now. Um, <clears throat> this is the only, I have one left. Okay. Mm. Michael Myers is a really fast walker. But that's only because he's constantly being stalked by Nick Hawk. Thank you so much. Yeah. Hey. Yes, swallow. Do it. Just do it. I um, spilled all over myself. Thank you guys for uh, being here tonight. Um, if you could turn your uh, volume input down, because I want you to hear these fucking mean ass jokes I wrote about. <laughs> um you guys oh might my god i forgot you were going after me sorry <laughs> <laughs> um just in case you guys didn't know um i uh, wore the skeleton costume because i wanted to feel thin today <laughs> so that's nice um anna barden um michael myers seems really desperate to me but even he won't call anna barden back <laughs> <laughs> Um, Anna Barden just wishes she was stalked by Michael Myers. Uh, the only difference is Lori had a man that would hide in the bushes from her, and Anna is praying someday any man will enter her blood bush. <laughs> so that's nice. Um, she doesn't even care if it's with a knife. Um, in fact, she loves cutlery from Magnolia Farms. So that's nice. Speaking of farming and being inbred, uh, we have Miles Francis here tonight. Um, Miles Francis looks like he's from West Virginia. I mean, look at his fucking face. <laughs> Him and his cousin have a three-armed baby somewhere. Um, but in my mind, that's kind of a great thing for Miles. Um, his baby will be able to fulfill a wish that Miles has wanted for himself for years. Uh, to be able to hold the bong, light the bowl, and masturbate to amputee porn all at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Uh, Miles Francis looks like the kind of kid that never checked his Halloween candy. Um, the only other time I've seen him with so much brown on his face is after he ate Wes Corwin's asshole. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> um, Brian, you're a newbie, but I'm about to rip. Okay, Brian Harrington uh, just got his test results today. 
Um, and he's HIV positive that tonight's gonna be a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Brian Harrington is only here tonight because the Halloween share costume contest was canceled because of COVID. Mm. Um, he tends to cough a lot anyways now with COVID, there's a 50-50 chance that it's a virus and not the kids he swallowed the night before. <laughs> um, <laughs> Halloween is a horror movie, which means there tends to be a lot of blood, um, but it's still not as gruesome as Brian's asshole after a bathhouse or two. <laughs> I'm a top. Uh, <laughs> um, Michael Myers' niece, Jamie, is a central focus for him in Halloween 4 and 5. Um, I've never seen a grown man follow a child so much, except for Kyle Porter at the lo local Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> 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 Kyle looks like an anorexic Mormon that's only dressed in costume tonight to prove that God is cool with Halloween, regardless of the rumors. Um, Kyle looks like a meth addict from the Saw franchise. I just keep praying he dies soon. <laughs> <laughs> Tom Reisenbeckler, uh, Tom, he celebrates Halloween every day. Uh, Tom Reisenbeckler's costume on the normal day-to-day -day is a struggling alcoholic with the scariest trait of all being having an active Yahoo account still. <laughs> <laughs> Came up with that joke yesterday. Like, okay. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, nice. Tonight... Lucky enough to have the Grim Reaper with us, uh, Tom Reisenbeckler. Uh, Damn it. By the way, I loved you in A Christmas Carol. <laughs> I thought you were really good. Um, keep in mind while you're out tonight, when you're out trick or treating this Halloween, all the money we raise with UNICEF will go to Tom at, for whatever cancer his body is riddled with. <laughs> um, I mean, shit. The cancer too, dude. You look like a fucking corpse. You didn't need to wear a costume, Tom. <laughs> you are a costume. <laughs> um, Hannah Howard took a break from filming to, to join us tonight. Um, if you're watching, I just loved you in Onward as the pixie mohawk wearing biker pixie, you know? Uh, just cherish that role because it's the only time anyone's going to refer to you as small. <laughs> um hannah howard uh there's something different about you tonight uh but i like it a lot better than the usual you uh maybe she couldn't be here tonight because she's going to finally take kyle's advice uh just remember that you can use your toe to pull the trigger <laughs> it's really <laughs> uh david parsons uh david parsons reminds me of james corden Except with little to no talent. <laughs> um, and by the way, if you want to scare David Parsons this Halloween, just dress up as someone who works for deportation. <laughs> well, you'll never see him run so fast. Um, Wes Corwin. Um, Wes Corwin's comedy is just like the sequels in Halloween. Disappointing as fuck, okay? It's crazy. Um, my last joke I wanna end you guys with, it's uh, all these comedians uh, here tonight consider themselves actors, <laughs> which is scary enough, uh, but they all, they all starred in movies that aren't officially horror movies, but scared the shit out of me. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you guys a couple titles. Um, Anna Barden stars in the blockbuster Anna Barden's Diary. <laughs> Hannah Howard Hannah Howard stars in Juno 2 O-G-E-D It Happened Again <laughs> Miles Francis stars in Netflix's original Dumpling 2 The Post Pageant uh, um, Tom Reisenbeckler stars It's amazing his, his great. He's in The Boy in the Striped Pajamas 2 I left my appetite in the wall I was hiding in. <laughs> Jay, uh, Wes Corwin, um, he stars in Almost Famished, Starving for Fame and Friends. Uh, David Parsons, um, Into the Woods 2, Please Fucking Get Lost. <laughs> <laughs> 
Brian Harrington, Birdcage 2, Penetration Celebration. <laughs> and we have the best, I say the best for last, uh, Kyle Porter is amazing in Philadelphia 2, Greetings from Hell, love Tom Hanks. <laughs> great. Uh, he just looks like he's disease ridden with AIDS. It's great. You guys have been such a treat tonight. Please make sure to follow each one of these comedians. I'm going to post, I'm going to bring them up uh, and spotlight each one of them so you can go follow them on social media. Tip them, tip them, tip them. You know what makes us happier than candy? Money, bitch. Money. Okay. <laughs> so put it in our bank accounts. Do whatever you want. Um, I'm still eating ramen. That's why I am this thin and I'm still shitting aggressive. So I would like to get that worked out. Um, we are going to start with the beautiful uh, Brian oh, Harrington. Oh, wow. What is Here's what Brian is Harrington. Uh, oh, his hi. Instagram, at clever use of the name Brian. Here, at BP Harrington. You're covering it. Uh, <laughs> at Brian Harrington. Sitcom. Next up, we have this delicious treat. Anna Borden. Hold on. Finished. She needs this money to buy more alcohol. Anna Barden, Venmo, Instagram, at Olive Garden. Like Olive Garden, but less satisfying. Um, next up, we have the Brit himself, David Parsons. Yeah. Instagram, Twitter, at D Parsons Comedy. Venmo, at David Dash Parsons Dash One. It's cute. I like that one. Um, next up, we have. <laughs> I'm putting it on you when you're not even on screen. <laughs> <laughs> West Corwin, okay. follow him at Twitter at West Cornfield. Venmo at West Dash Corwin. <sighs> oh, this. Mm, here he is. <laughs> 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 Tom Reisenbeckler, you can follow him. Still here? I don't know what, what's going on. You can follow him on social media. At Jesus Christ. Mind. <laughs> Next up, we have Miles Francis. Hey, Nick, hold on one second, dude. I told you I was looking for that picture of Anna and her dad, and I think I found oh. it. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Please follow Miles Francis at all of his amazing, it's at Miles Francis, I don't know what it is anymore. Mr. Most Days Off everywhere. Mr. Most Days Off everywhere. Is there someone I haven't hit? I think it is Kyle Porter. <laughs> Venmo at Kyle Porter. Instagram at Kyle CM Porter. God, I don't think I've ever been more on my shoulder. God, you'd be a good bottom. Anyways. <laughs> We're gonna go back to me, <laughs> you guys. We are did you put? Eight. Did you We're, put the newcomer up? Yeah, I did. Didn't I? I put Brian on. And yeah. My shoulder. Um, we are going. I don't remember. Uh, <laughs> you're the worst. Mute all. Um, you guys. All of the uh, other past weeks of this are on. Oh. You, so go check it out. You'll just type in roast of, and then <laughs> it should pop right up. Um. We are going to take next week off because, you know, there's something called an election <laughs> going on. Um, and I didn't make a wise decision to have the show on the day that it announces our next president. I feel like that is that's enough of a comedy itself. Um, please, if you haven't voted yet, please go out and vote. Every vote counts. Like Tom said, it's the only thing he said tonight that was worth listening to. You Shut got the fuck up. All you comedians, <laughs> I love you. All you comedians, thank you so much for doing the show tonight. It was so fun roasting this son of a bitch right here. Um, if you saw the latest movie, he was roasted in the basement of Jamie Lee Curtis's house. Uh, the preview to the next one shows them driving away in an ambulance and a fire truck going to the house and Jamie Lee Curtis saying, no, don't put it out. Is it going to be put out? Who knows? Uh, go see the Dude, movie. What's on my shoulder? What's on your shoulder? It's uh, <laughs> definitely not talent. Okay, bye guys.